thank you we back is thank you for tuning in uh Uh, if you tune in just hit the share button that's the most important thing that you can do uh, by hitting the share button so that we keep everyone informed of what is happening around us because uh, that is the most important thing we can do keep everyone informed about the atrocity that is happening in the southern Cameroon territory Thank you, Divine, for joining in. Uh, 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 today is a very interesting news. It's a very interesting news today, and I wish you all. So there's a lot of new thank you Zio, thank you Akenji for joining in here again. This is your host. My name is Funtum Daniel. I will be speaking live here about the outbreaking news in Southern Cameroon, the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. Uh, it is a wonderful experience, but however, together we can overcome our enemy. Our enemy can never be above the people of Southern Cameroon when the spirit of determination is concerned. So there is a lot of the news that we will be talking about and what happens within the entire 20, uh, 2018 and what is La Republic doing? How is the world re responding? So we will be talking more of this in a subsequently as we develop the program. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to urge you, if you have the opportunity, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the share button. Remember that I broadcast on my Facebook and on my YouTube. If you on, happen to be on my YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that I know you were physically there. And also hit the share button. That is how we're going to be doing this business. We cannot allow La Republic to control our territory. Fellow brothers and sisters, we are at war.
we're doing this morning a part of the atrocity that is going on in the southern Cameroon territory I hope you all are all in good conditions uh, thank you Eric for tuning in thank you Luis for tuning in and uh, thank you Zayus Abubakar for joining in and uh, one again I want to let you know that once you are there make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, uh, before we come to the breaking news we will first of all go through um, Uh, let's see what is happening around the neighborhood. Uh, Honorable Weber is making a book launching, so it is important that you all support Honorable Weber, the firebreaker of the Southern Cameroon. And we will start by the song, and then we proceed in our in our in our breaking news. And uh, let's see, Honorable Weber is Honorable Weber. <laughs> So he required that all of you to be there to support him in London. So for those of you who are in London, I think that would be an opportunity to share with him. You all know Honorable Weber is the firebreaker that stood up in the House of Assembly in the neighboring country, La Republic, and denounced. And that his message echo the standard bearer of the people of Ambazonia in a quest for total and complete freedom. Remember that when he spoke, he spoke as the Southern Cameroon. He spoke as an Ambazonian. He spoke as a citizen. He spoke as the person who has this experience. Of course, did they allow him to speak? But unfortunately, he stand. So he's in London and do a book launching. I wish you all be there to support him for all of those in London. And all of you, there will probably opportunity to get one copy from online as shown in that wonderful music in the background. I want to take a moment to let's say 
uh, let's look at what is happening. Today, uh, you all have seen, have seen. I know we have all our powerful women that some may be watching online and fellow Southern Cameroon, fellow Amazonians. You can understand why we are quest seeking a total, complete freedom from freedom from warrant, freedom of occupation, freedom that we can have our own government that is accountable to our own citizens. Today, I am bringing you one of the breaking news that one will never experience. I remember for some time ago when I was in Bamenda, when I used to to walk around, I used to walk around the premise of the Bamenda Big Mountain. For those who knows the call, uh, the cathedral in Big Mountain. The one famous school that we all know is Our Lady of Lord Secondary School. Our Lady of Lord Secondary School, I have many, maybe many of them that are here in the United States. They may have graduated from the, there. They all know the glorious days of the Our Lady of Lords. But imagine that it's not only the glorious days that we remember the, uh, Our Lady of Lords, especially the symbol of Catholicism in the Southern Cameroon Territory. And you all know that they, have, they usually celebrate all over the world. It's because of the powerful and the dynamic upbringing of those Our Lady of Lords. It has become a taboo that one will imagine that there is an outbreak of pregnancy epidemic in Our Lady of Lords Secondary School as I'm speaking. It is this Lady of Lords pregnancy outbreak is because of an invasion by the neighboring country, La Republic, military that are currently stationed in Big Mancon. For all of you, maybe let me just show some of the images. I am sure you all seen the images of Christ, uh, the symbol of, of obviously, portray Mary Magdalene, as you see in that symbol. But today, there is a pregnancy outbreak in our Lady of Lord Secondary School. In, in this pregnancy outbreak is because of the stationing of La Republic military in that campus. I mean, it is very unfortunate. This story can never be heard somewhere or not been heard. It's because the, the matter is being kept secret. Because first, the Catholic, uh, the, the, the Catholic officials are wondering what would be the outcome if this message is revealed to the general public. And because of this, it is kept silent. You know all that La Republic is consequently murdering... How many priests have been murdered by La Republic du Cameroon in the southern Cameroon? Some have been executed by the military wing of this terrorist government of La Republic du Cameroon. We shall see some of the terrorist action of La Republic as we proceed to the subsequent program in this, in this edition. So there is an outbreak of pregnancy epidemic in our Lady of Lord Secondary School because of the campus military of La Republic that are currently stationed in Southern Cameroon territory. But I am here to let the world understand that the continual persuasion that La Republic must live with the people of Southern Cameroon. That is the consequences that the lawless nations of La Republic military station in the Southern Cameroon. I remember I report some few weeks ago or months ago about a 17 years old girl that delivered a child and she probably stepped out to buy some food for her children and she was picked up by the military of La Republic and raped and she started bleeding because she just had a child few weeks prior to being adopted by the Republic military. And this ongoing torturing and murdering and raping girls in Amazonia is absolutely terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Of 
course, one would expect the world community to condemn this action that is currently perpetrated in the Southern Cameroon Territory. I am sure if the Catholic, even the Pope in Rome would have seriously concerned and denounced, of course, as Paul Bia is relocating resources, relocating money, funds to the Roman Catholic in Rome. So therefore, they remain silent and no one can talk about it because they are dealing with above. And that is why the Catholic missionary, the big man, remain silent and not to review the consequences of the military giving pregnancy to high school students at the at the our Lady of Lord Secondary School in Big Mancon, Bamenda. For, for those of you who have traveled to Bamenda and are aware and familiar with the Our Lady of Lord Secondary School, one will expect the missionary to give an outrage condemnation. Of course, because Pope yeah, is dealing with Rome, the power that is above the, the, the Catholic mission in Big Mancon. Therefore, no one is able to voice the concern about the rampant pregnancy that is currently skyrocket in Our Lady of Lord Secondary School. It is very unfortunate. One will expect that this is very disciplined. But unfortunately, with the invasion of military, you all know what happened in the Sacred Heart several months ago. In Sacred Heart, when the military play music and allow the boys to behave like Whatever you can describe it. And so this is the, the twin sister or brother to the Our Lady because there is always constant interaction between Our Lady and the Sacred Heart. But this is very deplorable state in which girls are being pregnant indiscriminately and being perpetrated by the terrorist military of La Republic that are currently stationed in that high school campus. But I am here to let the world know this is what is going on in the Southern Cameroon Territory. I know many of you have seen a skyrocketing of children roaming around with gone. And I kind of wonder, but one thing is questionable. Why is the child having that high caliber gone? But guess who is in charge of that perpetrating that atrocity? There is one individual, the ex-convict in the land public, former or the minister of territorial administration, who happened to be an anglophone speaker, that is organizing militia, militia men and paying it with counterfeit printed by uh, by, by his clique, his machinery that he imported from China and he's using those money, printing it indiscriminately and funding children to, pivot, to portray as though it is an Amazonian that is carrying on such an action. It is one who amaze because this ex convict let's look how he was in New Bear Prison. That is the Territorial Administration Minister in La Republic. That is an ex-convict. That is where he was. That is how he looked when he was. He looked terrifying when he was in New Bear Prison. That is the current Territorial Administration Minister in the neighboring country, La Republic du Cameroon. You can see, he looked terrifying. I mean, so if you meet this individual, you will be scared to yourself. Because you obviously know that he reflects more of a terrorist. Look at him. Look, look, look his behavior. Look his outlook. I'm sure one of those my psychiatrists, they should be able to evaluate and give clear analysis of who he is. That's him. That is the territorial administration minister in La Republic du Cameroon. And that is the one, the single individual that is perpetrating this act of atrocity in Southern Cameroon territory. He's using fake counterfeit, fake money, printed indiscriminately, and using and distributing and forming a militia group against the Saudi Cameroon that are fighting for their complete independence from a government.
government that lacks accountability, a government that is a terrorist government, a government that has no meaningful to the common citizens of the people of Saudi Cameroon. Yet we have this ex-convict. That is how he was in New Bell Prison. Fellow brothers and sisters, the world community need to see that is a territorial administration minister in the neighboring country, La Republic of Cameroon. Let's look at him. That's him. That is him. That's him. That's him. You can see from his eyes, he looked terrifying. He looked terrifying. That is a territorial administration minister in the neighboring country, La Republic of Cameroon. He looked terrified. Imagine you see him. Let's look how he was in the New Bell prison. That's him in New Bell prison. He looks terrified. You can see from his clear images that he looks terrifying. That is the territorial administration minister of this terrorist government of La Republic. That is the one is organizing militia men and using fake counterfeit that is printed indiscriminately, including with the complicity of the China. And that is why they're using it instead of going for a dialogue as requested by international community, United States, Great Britain, China, uh, uh, Germany, of course. But he is using fake militia. And the one that I'm going to show to you is very disturbing. It's very disturbing because if he, this individual, that is currently a former ex-convict at the New Bell prison, let's look at Let's look at what his behavior. Let's look at what he is he does. That is a child. That is a child. One will expect that this could be the amber. This is absolutely La Republic that is being perpetrated. You all see, that is a child that is being perpetrated by Atanganji. Atanganji, the territorial administration minister. You all know that he's an ex-convict from the New Bell prison. And that is his behavior that is using young children, portray them as though they are Amazonian defense system that is fighting and that they are using. You all can imagine that an ex-convict from the New Bell prison, what do you expect from that ex-convict? An ex-convict, he obviously, you understand his capacity and is mentally challenged. Because if he can graduate from the New Bell prison, and now he becomes the minister of territorial administration, of course, you can expect this attitude that he's using fake money and enforce this. You all know, a few days ago, two children were given guns and forced to accept. But unfortunately, those two children at those two children at Ndamukong Street in Bamenda, those two children at Ndamukong Street in Bamenda, the military terrorized those two children and beaten two children to death because the children refused to perform this act that is perpetrated by this child as you have seen. 
and the military tortured the children to death because they refused to accept or taking the gun that were being given by the Republic military. So as to use it as an images to portray to the world community forgery. You all know the atrocity that has been going on in southern Cameroon. Let's look at some of the atrocity that has made news in southern in either in southern Cameroon or in Grand North that is currently perpetrated by the evil force of this terrorist government of La Republic. Let's look at some of them. One of the stories that make up news. This is the one of the painful stories that make up news. Give me a minute. These are one of the painful stories that make up news. These are women and children. These are women and children. They simply just wandering in the forest. They simply just wandering in the forest. Basically, they have no food to eat. They have nothing to eat. And these are women and children. They have no ammunition. They have basically absolutely nothing we all learned some time ago about wandering people wandering the early man the early man this is maybe in that category of women and children just wandering in ground north and they expect to see a military that's supposed to protect them but unfortunately when they met the military of la republic La Republic, instead of being the rescuer of those women and children that basically have no ammunition, they're simply wandering. They expect to look for food for their children. And this what happened. Let's take a watch. Let's watch and see what happened. That's what made up news last year. That is La Republic military. Watch, watch, that is land public military, women and children. Just see that woman, it's, it's tearful, it's painful. I mean, watch that woman in that category, in that children, and his hair being tied, and see what happened. I mean, it is painful that, look, look, look. Look. Yes. Yes. That is the most dramatic what happened last year. I mean, it's 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 very disturbing that I, I mean, you can shed tears when you see a mother and a child that simply wandering in the forest and the military basically pull them to a location. The military of poor black terrorists pull these children and women wandering in the forest basically have zero food to eat, absolutely nothing to eat. But the military that's supposed to be a protectorate of citizens of indigenous people, but they pull them to a safe location 
with the hope that they think they were pulling to a safety. But this is what happened. And that is why you are telling me that I should support the terrorist government of this phobia regime. And that is why you all see what is happening, especially within the French colony in Africa. Because this is the habit, the attitude of the French government instituted to suppress revolt, to suppress individual liberty. That is the what the French government is more interested in Africa. Murder. France, the architects of murder. France, the architects of murder. You all know, Ayub Seseko, the demonstration that occurred five days ago throughout around the world. Imagine that the people of Southern Cameroon, under the Enugu House of Assembly, which I keep on repeating every day, the Enugu House of Assembly, when the British administrator that was administering the territory under the United Nations mandate, Southern Cameroon leadership traveled to Nigeria to meet this administrative authority in Nigeria. Imagine that Jungu Fonja and J.J. Ndele and Gumjwa, all these leadership of the Saudi Cameroon that they traveled to Nigeria were adopted and arrested and detained by the Nigerian authority. But instead, it was a friendly encounter between the Nigerian authority and the people of Saudi Cameroon. <coughs> This relationship, that this forgery relationship that attaches us to the neighboring country, La Republic of Cameroon, that continue to perpetrate the people of Southern Cameroon and destroy the fundamental value of the distinctive people of Southern Cameroon. But I'm here to let the world to understand that the people of Southern Cameroon must stand for their freedom. Let's look at what happened next. Before we go to that, let's look at the United States made an immediate informed decision to the U.S. Congress to notify the Congress that there is intention of the United States to enter into Congo with combat readiness to intervene and release U.S. citizens that may be languishing in that country. And one we're wondering, why is it the United States intervened? It's because of this continual atrocity that is propagated either by the United Nations or the French, the France. Because France has been the architect of atrocity that is perpetrated in the entire co colony of the French in African continent. There has never, never been a mini, meaningful government that one can distinctively Clarify that this is a government of an elected officials and the transfer of power within the French colony. They all click to power because France is ensuring that they must stay so that they will give easy access for the French government to be able to penetrate and, and uproot the resources in those colonies. And believing that a certain individual coming into power obviously will not allow the French to able to penetrate and drain the resources for their own self-egoistic interests. Oh. right now to potential U.S. military operation 
to rescue Americans. Combat-ready U.S. troops have been ordered to move into position. Let's go to our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr. Barbara, what are you learning? Wolf, good evening. Tonight we are learning that 80 heavily armed U.S. troops have landed in the nation of Gabon in West Africa. Let's put the map up and show everybody what we're talking about. They are in Gabon on standby, heavily armed, also with aircraft, to be ready to go to the east into the Democratic Republic of Congo, where violence has broken out for several days following very unsettled elections in that country. They are ready to go in and protect the U.S. Embassy, but also ready to go in and rescue Americans out of that nation if it becomes necessary. This is something the U.S. military is very expert at. Uh, I think it's quite significant that when Congress is notified about this today, we learned that they went with combat equipment. So they are ready, if ordered, to cross the border, go into the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and we are also told that more troops besides the initial contingent of 80 may be sent if it comes to that wolf. Yeah, and the president actually, as you point out, wrote this letter to Congress. I'll read the first sentence. The first of these personnel arrived in Gabon on January 2nd, 2019, with appropriate combat equipment and supported by military aircraft. Uh, the, uh, you, is the U.S. military taking this precaution to prevent the loss of U.S. life, uh, similar to what happened when that diplomatic mission was overrun in Libya and Benghazi? One of the great lessons, tragic as, uh, as all of it was, out of the Benghazi attack on the diplomatic compound is Africa is a country, a uh, continent, pardon me, a continent of vast distances. The U.S. military has to be ready, has to preposition if they believe there is a chance they need to rescue Americans. They cannot wait for violence to break out because they may not be able to get to the Americans in time. That was the lesson of Benghazi. So what we are seeing tonight is U.S. troops that was, and because of the U.S. possible intervention, that forced that dictatorship, Kabila, to transfer power to whoever it is, the current president of Congo. So one would be wondering why must this happen, and why must France be the architect? You all know what happened in uh, when the United Nations. There was a vehicle that had an accident in Congo in Democratic Republic of Congo. And guess what? It was all mineral deposit that was in the vehicle of the United Nations. And that is why the United Nations is not interested about a democratic government being taking place, but the United Nations is taking advantages to any, any destructive government so as to benefit the United Nations. And that is why when the vehicle had an accident, material, gold, and some Minerals were actually used by the United Nations to convert them, to transport them against the purpose in which it was going there. And that is why, let's look at France. Let's look at France. France, the architects of perpetrator in the African continent. La démission annoncée du ministre de l'économie, Emmanuel Macron, quitte le avec nous officialisé par le président de la République. Mais c'est This is talking about a, a minister in the French government. But let's look at who is Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron qui fait en quelque sorte le saut avec avec sa femme. You all see. That's the person, Emmanuel Macron. That's the person that is causing disaster in Africa. That is him. That is the person that is causing disaster in African descent. That is why he was in Nigeria. Let's look. Une visite a même de donner une nouvelle impulsion à la coopération mutuellement avantageuse entre la France et la... You remember that when the leader of the Southern Cameroon were adopted from Nigeria, they were adopted from Nigeria because Emmanuel Macron, the, the current French president, his purpose is mission to Nigeria. One will expect for economic purpose as is per se, but unfortunately, the mission was there to force Nigeria to join the triangular momentum against the people of Southern Cameroon. So the Nigeria should encircle 
Southern Cameroon, on the west, whereas the Chadian on the north and La Republic, so that they form a buffer zone against the Southern Cameroon. But one will be wondering, France should concentrate on their own continent and leave Africa alone and let Africa deal with its problems. Why is France so concerned with Africa? Because they like to have a one single individual at the helm of a government, just like they have in Gabon. You always know that the coup that failed in Gabon. It's because we have one, one individual family that controlled the entire government of Gabon for over 50 years. For over 50 years. Entire government of Gabon. And that is why it became wondering, why can there not be a change of leadership? Why can't the people have a change of leadership for Christ's sake? Why is so France so engaged in African colony? Why can France not concentrate on their own territory in France and allow Africa alone? Allow Africa alone. Why should France be supporting a single family over 50 years decade? One family, one family controlled the entire government. Imagine that one family was controlling the entire government of France. Where would he have been to be a president of France if one single individual should have been controlling the government of France for an entire decade? He wouldn't have been aspiring to become a president of France. Then why is he more concerned about Africa to have a change of leadership? Because that is the source of mineral. That's the source of drainage to feed the French citizens. Africa become the source of raw material to feed the French citizens. Why the citizens of Africa basically have less food to eat and feed their own children. The French children are more in priority to be fed with African produce and the African children basically have no liberty for their own produce. This is, this is a very embarrassing and nasty. That is why you see France more concerned about Africa. What would you wonder? Of course, if other nations of the advance are traveling to France, they have visa free. But does Africa have visa free to travel to France? Of course not, except the, 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 the raw material that they drain that has visa free to France. Only the raw material, only the raw material that are from Africa has visa free to France. Not the citizens has visa free to France. Just imagine you travel and happen to be transit to France and see how the military, they look like a gorilla. Just because you happen to be an African descent. Of course, just because you happen to be an African descent. And you see they portray, they look at you like, a, like an animal. For those who have been traveling to France, I'm sure you've had enough experience when you deal with France. Of course, the citizen has their property. They don't, they can't even benefit. One single individual family ruling Gabon for over 50 years. Because the interest of France is more of a priority over the citizens. Priority. That is why chaos continue to reign in Africa because there is a French, French priority interest. That is why in Africa, that is why I love one United States Senator, which I can't recall his name, but however, he asked this question. Why a coup d'etat is happening in Gabon and France is volunteer to intervene on behalf? It's because the point is clear. They want the raw material visa free. Raw material to France is visa free. But human beings must have a visa to France. But the raw material from Africa to France is visa free. Raw material to France is visa free. 
In other words, they value raw material more than human beings. That is why raw material to France is visa free. Whereas human beings must show their identifications. That is the world we live in. That is the most corrupted world society in which we live in. That is why the United Nations is the most corrupted system on this planet, if you are not aware. Because any disgruntled government is an opportunity for the United Nations to take advantages and exploit rather than looking for the common good of the people. Let's look at what our things that is happening. And that is why Emmanuel Macron wants to convince Nigeria and convince Chad to form a buffer system against the people of Southern Cameroon that are fighting for their own freedom, freedom of liberty, freedom of worship, freedom of political freedom. These images may be very graphic for viewer to watch, but however, I had to present it because that's the torture that happened in 2018 in the South of Cameroon territory that is perpetrated by this terrorist government of La Republic du Cameroon. And that is why I had to show it. Those are the citizens of the South of Cameroon that were murdered by the terrorist government of the Republic of Cameroon. Homes burnt, murder, children. That is the most graphic images happening in South of Cameroon. This is absolutely painful to watch. You all know these famous images. These images happening in Bali. In Bali, when, when children were spread with gas, when children were spread with gas, and when we exposed that gas was used, they went ahead and burned the cops. That is the most torturing in Southern Cameroon. This is just the dictatorship of Pobia that is implanted by the neighboring country under the control of the French government to ensure that they remain in power. And that is the citizens of the Southern Cameroon that are continue being executed by the terrorist government. The fact is clear. Southern Cameroon was never a colonial territory of La Republic, neither was it a conquered territory. We simply invite La Republic to the South of Cameroon as a friendly nation. But we have been converted because France is more interested. Because you remember, I said raw material from African descent is visa free to French government, to France. Whereas citizens have to pay a visa or be given a visa to travel to France. Whereas the raw material is visa free. That is the painful feelings why the citizens of the South of Cameroon continue to be tortured and murdered by the this derogative government of La Republic, Pobia, at the helm of that enterprise. Fellow citizens of Amazonia, I am here, I will never let go until our people is free. Those are homes. Those are homes burned. Those are homes. Clergymen killed. Children killed at random. 
indiscriminately. You can watch, you can watch the children of the South of Cameroon. This one is a child, is someone that's a disabled person, a disabled person on a wheelchair. Let's look at the images again. Let's look at the image. Let's look at the image. A person on a wheelchair, a person on a wheelchair was brutally shot by the terrorist government of La Republic. That is the most bizarre behavior of a military that they expect control to be able to be the protectory of indigenous citizens. A disabled in a wheelchair, shot dead by the military of La Republic in Southern Cameroon territory. This is obviously what will expect the world community to issue a condemnation. Simple, the environment allow the people of Southern Cameroon recognize them. I mean, recognize them as a distinctive people with distinctive identity. Recognize them and let them move on with their government. This is the most effective way. But continue to collaborate, believing that the South of Cameroon shall remain with La Republic. I can assure you that in never in history will the South of Cameroon have a dinner living together in the same home, in the same environment. I can assure you, for the world community that they turn a blind eye, they believe that something miracle is going to happen. Obviously, no miracle can happen in the Southern Cameroon territory. So long as they serve determination to remain independent from the terrorist government of La Republic, we cannot, in any circumstances, we, the last person, shall proclaim the sovereignty of the people of Southern Cameroon. Because holding our leadership cabinet hostage in La Republic is the most devastating and we will never let go. Seseko, I can assure you, our spirit is with you together. As I talked about pregnancy, that the outbreak of pregnancy, the outbreak of pregnancy in Our Lady of God Secondary School in Big Mancon is still part of the continuation of torture that has robbed the people of Southern Cameroon, especially the female and the young boys that are being shot indiscriminately because the land public has planned to eliminate all boys from the age 12 and above. And that is why they continue. But these images is girls being raped by the military of La Republic and force them to swim in a mud. Those are some of the things that make up news last year in 2018. Let's see what happened. girls in Bali. That's what made up news last year. Girls raped by La Republic and forced to swim in this, the most dangerous environment. Imagine the women's sanitations, the world community. One will expect the United Nations to issue condemnation for a woman swimming in this type of environment. It's better for a male person to swim in this type of environment than a we a female. You all know, for those in the medical profession, what could be the outcome of these girl, young girls in Bali. That's some of the story that make up some of the news. Listen, the commentator of the person, a francophone speaking, advanced.
those are la republic those are la republic that make up the news last year women you watch In other words, one of them has a child that has not been fed since yesterday. If you listen to the content of the conversations in French, one of the girls that will be asked to swim in that environment, that is the action perpetrated by La Republic military in Southern Cameroon territory. That is something that the world hasn't in any circumstances be aware of what is going on in Southern Cameroon territory. One will expect the world condemnations. Fellow brothers and sisters, we are at war. We must overcome against our enemy, La Republic du Cameroon. world body, the United Nations. why you see the demonstration of a worldwide is for the freedom of the people of southern Cameroon. The freedom of the people of southern Cameroon seeking a total complete freedom from the neighboring country, La Republic. I want to take a moment to thank all of you that are watching and that I will be coming more when the news arises. From Bokutunja, from elsewhere, fellow brothers, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I I don't have nothing to say. I don't have nothing to say. I'm just, I'm, you know, it's, it's terrifying. Let's go on and conclude with Honorable Weber. Honorable Weber's song book. <laughs> 